on the ceiling, uh, up on the wall, from right to left. So let's start from the beginning with Aleph to the top, and everyone all together. Aleph, Aleph Be, Gimel, Dal, He, Bal, Zion, Chet, Tet, Yod, Kaf, Lamed, Mem, Nun, Samet, Ayin, Pe, Zadi, Kof, Resh, Shin, and Tal. And as you can see, we have the five uh, final letters in at the bottom. Let's read those. Kaf, Sofi, Closed Mem, Nun, Sofi, Pe, Pe, Sofi, Zadi, Sofi. Okay, those are used at the end of a word. So as we uh, went over last week with the bet or the word sun in Hebrew, bay, which is spelled bet, yod, final noon. That's when we would use the final noon because it's at the end of the word. So everybody say noon so feet. Noon so feet. Okay, very good. Okay, let's go on. Let's go to the letter for today. And we're gonna get some vocabulary words. We have about six vocabulary words. And that's perfect for this letter. It's gimel. Everybody say gimel. And it means the Holy Spirit or man in camel's hair. The gimel can also mean have a pictorial value of a camel. It uh, coming comes in the Holy Spirit. <coughs> coming is the spirit of Elijah and Yochanan, the immerser. Gimetra value is number three. Now we see in the book of Malachi. It says that, he see, uh, that uh, Elijah was going to come, and he was going to do what? And that's in our, actually in our half Torah portion today. It speaks of Eliyahu, which would be his Hebrew name, but we know in English it's translated as Elijah. And the word means Eliyahu, Yahweh is my God, Yahweh is my El. Um, but it does say that he's going to come up in the spirit of Elijah to do what? Does anybody remember that? To return the hearts of the fathers to the children and return the hearts of the children to the fathers. So Gimel, that's what Yochanan or John, the immerser, did. He was out in the wilderness doing what? Baptizing. He was baptizing people, John, out in the water. And it's okay, don't, you know, just go ahead and say it. It's, it's okay. That's why we're in this class setting. But he um, immersed people in the water. And he said to them, he said, I am not the one who has come, but I prepare the way for him who is coming. And he who is coming, I'm not worthy to do what? to lace unlace his shoes, his sandals, exactly. So that's why this gimel is a perfect representation of Yochanan, the immerser. And then also with Elijah, or Elijah, it's a great um, uh, representation of him because he was the man that actually wore camel's hair. Now, John, Yochanan, the immerser, also wore Camel's hair. And we, uh, there is a teaching that the camel's hair of that Elijah, that Elijah who wore, was kept and passed down and given to Zechariah, who was Yochanan's father, and passed down and given, and that's what Yochanan the Immerser wore when he baptized people in the water preparing the way for Messiah Yeshua to come on board. So that's the letter, that's the deeper level, the deeper understanding of the
the letter Gimel. Now, also look at the Gimel. Let's look at the Aleph. Look at the Bet and then the Gimel. The Aleph Bet, as I said in the beginning when we started out, tells a story. So the Aleph we know is what? The master, the head. He's the head of the house. Then last week we learned Bet was what? The house, exactly. The house, but it also represents what? The sun. Bet, Bain, as in uh, the son of Yahweh. And then we have, now we have Gimel, uh, camel's hair, or Holy Spirit. So right here, we have, and not thinking of by any means or any stretch of the word, any trinity thought, but the thought of a triunity, a unity and a greatness of Yahweh as the creator. So we have the head of the house coming forth as the Holy Spirit in just those three letters. So as we move on through the Olivet, we're going to see an even bigger picture of Yahweh coming in the beginning and ending up at the cross, which is the top. Okay? And if we look at the Gimel, look at it. It looks as uh, close to that bait. The bait would be here. And then you've got the Gimel looking like this. And instead of having a kneeling kind of effect, it has like a foot effect, as in walking. So it goes from the place of being sedentary to stepping out. So you have the uh, head of the house coming out of the door of the house, which is Yeshua, stepping out as the Holy Spirit, going towards a place. Okay? And then next week we'll find out what place he's going towards. Alright, now we're going to do some vocabulary words. And the first word I have for you, and I want you to write these down so you can kind of be going through them, and then we're going to do some vowel pointings along with them so that you'll be able to keep yourself familiarized with it, okay? All right, we're going to start off with the word camel, which means camel. Everybody say camel. Camel. Good. And that is spelled... Everybody say Gamma. 
Ha-goyim, goy is nation. When you put the im on the end, which would be a yod, well, goyim, it would be a mem, then it makes it goyim, which, is, which means nations. It makes it plural. Okay? Anytime you see a yim on the end of a word, a mem on the end of the word, it makes it plural. Okay? So let's look at real quickly, and then we're going to go ahead and close out. We're going to look at a couple of vowel <coughs> pointings, and we're going to use the word, let's see, what did the word use here? <coughs> Gama. Let's use the word gamma. And we're going to use some vowel pointing to spell the word gamma. Okay, let's look at our vowel pointing. <coughs> Well, at least I have to give you, that's a foul pointing. Thank you. And I have a couple of other things too, which is the Olivet. Can you pass that to her now? And then also the gametra, thank you. Okay, really quick. The sound when you see a little line underneath the gimel is going to automatically pronounce be pronounced as the a as its father. So it would how would it be well, how would this be pronounced? Ga, fa, father, ga. Whenever you see a little, just one little line underneath a letter, Hebrew letter, it's going to sound like father. So everybody say, God. God. Good. Now, if you see and let's just go with the the Gmail. Which would give us the sound of E as in.